energy reading, energy update. I actually recorded an entire video on this and it was just not cooperating. So essentially I want to do it live because many of you guys um, may know that I've stopped doing psychic readings for a while. Um, and in those readings, I channel everything presently. So I wanted to do it on camera with you guys so you can see what I'm tuning into, what I'm connecting to as we're watching it. And if you enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and let's get straight into it. Okay. So I'm just going to connect in, take a deep breath with me. Okay, so immediately when I see the portal of October, because months are portals, they're a containment of energy, I always, um, sorry, not always, the last time I saw this and I'm seeing it again, it's very much like, you know, Fanta lemon? It's um, the color of Fanta lemon and Fanta orange. It's orange and yellow. It's showing me that it's going to be a very creative month for a lot of people. And it's connecting and hooking that in with your solar plexus, which is going to be, if you get a creative impulse, you're going to have to link it to your solar plexus of determination. Now you're going to see why I use this platform because I'm going to, we pulled up an iPad. Okay. I want to show you exactly what I'm seeing so you guys can understand. Essentially I'm seeing, if you're unaware of chakras, we have a sacral chakra. Let me just make it a little bit bigger here. Oh, okay. We have a chakra of our sacral energy and this energy is our sexual life force. It's where we create everything. This is a very power powerful portal of energy because this is where you and I all came from. We all come from this energy, the sacral energy that literally births humanity, births life. What I'm being shown is we have to hook it into our solar plexus. Now, what is our solar plexus? It's our determination. Oh, hold on a second here, peeps. There. It's our determination. It's our drive and our success. It's like the energy of the sun. It's our essentially our willpower and our action. And if we have an inspirational hit like um, a biz or, you know, let's say social media, like content, we can have all this inspired action. We can have this drive with this energy. But if we don't utilize it into actually harnessing and taking action, they're showing me that October is going to be a great month because you're going to have a lot of inspirational hits, a lot of purpose, a lot of motivation. But if you don't hook that in, if you don't hook that into your solar plexus and you actually like, the only way I can describe I'm seeing it is like vomiting it out, right? Because when we're taking action, we're bringing it out into creation. So it's almost like if you get that intuitive hit of whatever it is, it's going to be, they're just showing me it's a lot to do with people with their health as well. October is a month of really cleaning up your health and getting clear on your health. And I'm also hearing it's really important to let go of any stories. For example, if you are trying to, ch trying to change your health, it's really important to like not have a story or an identity that like, oh, my health is bad. You're creating a new timeline, a new lifeline in October. So it's almost like there's going to be an opening of an energy, of a heightened energy of creation and then turning that into action, and turning that into willpower. So I'm just gonna continue tuning in and seeing what else wants to come in. And again, if anyone's watching, make sure to give this video a thumbs up um, and click the subscribe button. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I'm just seeing the throat chakra. A lot of truth is gonna be coming out this month. I made a prediction last December that this year was gonna be the downfall of Hollywood. It's showing me a lot more truth is going to come out to the masses. But again, if you want to engage in that, if you want to watch that, if you want to consume that is completely personal preference. But I am hearing to some degree, it's going to be a lot more truth of things. They're also saying politics because I don't follow politics, but they're showing me it's going to be a truth with politics. Um, oh, wow. That's interesting. They're showing me like a collective veil of the collective, this almost veil that there's going to be an opening of truth whatever way that resonates. That could also be truth within yourself, truth within the paradigms you've been following and realizing like, okay, has this been sustaining me? Has this been supporting me? And are you going to continue facilitating that truth or are you going to change your own truth? So it's almost like they're showing there's an opportunity to create, okay, this is coming together and this is what they're showing me. So it's almost as if, I'm going to show the two timelines. You have one timeline here, which is where you are operating right now. You're embedded in your way of reality. I just made it wink without realizing. And what's coming in in October is you're going to have openings of opportunity again. So this is a collective reading. It doesn't mean you have to assign yourself to this. What they're showing me is 
there's going to be a truth that comes in a paradigm. Maybe it's a way you've been living a, a wake up call of something that you've been doing that hasn't been heartfelt or hasn't been like authentic or genuine to you or your spirit up until now. It's like a truth is going to come in and it's almost the test of, are you going to embody it and then act on it? Because remember the sacral energy is all about embodiment, like how we embody an energy, how we feel it in our body. The sacral is like water. It's very fluid. It's very feminine. And the solar plexus is the sun. It's like the energy of coffee. I always say like when you have coffee and you're like, let's go. It's like, are you going to act on it? So it's almost like things are going to drop in they're saying the middle, the middle of the month, there's going to be a drop in of ideas and realizations. And it's your duty and your job of if I want to act on that. And that's going to dis determine, they're almost saying a completely different timeline shift. And what that means is that it may look nothing like you expected. They're showing me like steps as in you might've expected that you were going to go down to these steps. Like you were going to go down to this area. And then at the end of the month, you're actually like here. Um, it's almost like you're being brought into a different reality that you're aware of. And that's why they're saying, okay, this is really interesting. They're saying visualization is dead. Now, what do they mean by that? Cause visualization is super powerful. So I want them to clarify what they mean by that. Oh, wow. They're saying a lot of you guys will not be able to predict, predict the unexpected changes that happen in your reality because in order to predict something, you need to be in that paradigm now. So like, if you expect your life to be a certain way, you're going to visualize your future of that way, but it doesn't mean it's the highest timeline because you can only visualize in the set of consciousness that you believe is worthy of you. Let me give you an example. Like if you're visualizing this reality, I've always learned that things can be better than you could ever imagine, but you may not be able to believe that that's possible for you. So all you can do is kind of, they're showing me like a blindfold with the walking stick, like just trusting the messages and the synchronicities and the signs as each day goes on. But the main thing they're showing me is that this is really going to be like this, like you're going to get a truth. You're going to get a download. You're going to get an insight and it could happen on a random Monday or Tuesday where you just get a thought and you're like, Oh, and it's going to be something big for each of you. It's going to be something big. And you're going to have been given the opportunity to embody and act on it, which is going to bring you in a completely different timeline because November, but specifically December, I'm hearing is going to be a fruitful month. It's going to be a big month for a lot of people. And so you're preparing the kind of baseline. It's kind of like when we plant a seed here under the soil it takes time before it grows, you know, into a beautiful flower, right? So it's almost like right now is the groundwork. And I really encourage people for the month of October, like I'm all about starting the new year now and getting prepared and not being one of those people that, you know, joins the gym in January. And the reason I say that is I used to work in a gym many years ago and like seeing how much people are optimistic and join in January and just for it to become quiet again in February was like a really big lesson for me to witness and watch of going, oh my God, all these people that just like quit and give up. Whereas if you sustain yourself now and you choose October to be your month and you choose to like just get on it and embody what you're wanting. Um, so it's almost like you're not meant to have a long-term vision right now because something big is gonna shift. Um, that could be around like what you're seeing in the politics or what you're seeing in the truth of the world or things that are shifting energetically as a collective. And that's going to decipher what you're wanting to create and cultivate in your life. Okay. So really use it as in a time. It's a very opening of creative yellow, orange energy. Use it to your advantage and make October a beautiful month. And I'm actually laughing because like now that I'm realizing autumn is like orange, it's like full, it's pumpkin. So maybe that's a resonance for it. So yes. And I do want to say also, I'm going to use the whiteboard in other videos. I just don't have it right now. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below what you expect, what you feel from October. I'd love to hear. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'm sending you all my love and light and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.